Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. Today's system is from the user 4L3PH in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending their system and their system is called the Kintara system. So without further ado everybody let's get straight into the action here. We're in update 34 for this as we're going to keep doing that for everyone's systems until we've done them all because they're all made in this version so if we update to the latest version it'll probably break them if we go into it so got to be back in the previous version of the game right so simulation best let's pause asteroid moons are not documented welcome to the kantara system a system like no other of course before exploring let's give you a tour of everything Ooh -hoo -hoo. okay here we go oh it's pretty big right so where are we oh -ho. So the star itself kantara the center of the system the spotlight despite lighting up everything on the spot okay first up of the planets we've got moros here very, very bright. A scorching ball of fire and metal used to have a sh very shiny and detailed trail of vaporized rock and gases. Oh, yes. Next up, we got this one. Hadestus. A hot rock with bright, glimmering rings. This planet is a very popular attraction to the uh, Ever sites. It holds one moon, uh, Persephonis, which is here. Looking good. Next up, we got uh, Atena over here. There it is. Used to be Hatsball, now it's a sand ridden desert. It holds three moons Everessa, Estelian, and Azuri, Azuris. Um, there we are. Uh, to the moons, we have this one here Everessa, a thriving warm moon with life uh, specifically residen, holder of the Everest site. I guess that's where they're from. The rock was the starter point of the civilization that led to the system into colonization. Very nice. We have the other moons as well. Looking good. Next up, we got this one. Vyphis here. Yeah. This planet was once a moon of Eterna, but got ejected because of Eterna's gravitational pull being too weak. It's also thought that Aversa may be part of this terraformation has begun long ago from the other, other sites, but it's far from completion. It holds two moons, which are these guys. One and two there. Looking good. Nice. Then we have an asteroid belt here. There's another object in here. What is this? We've got minnows. Or minos. A boring steel blue dwarf planet in the asteroid belt that orbits it around it. Okay. Well, that's all about it. Right. Next up, we got this one Osiris. Dark and massive gas giant thought to be a rumour until other sites detect a gravitational anomaly on their way to Friley. An accident discovered said planet. It's a pretty visible ring system and has three moons. Okay. So we've got Horus here. A solid big rock use of mining. And we have this one here. Net Uh Where are we? This moon is quite icy with most of its water being covered in frozen water methane and geysers. Nice. Right, so we've got a Barry Center over here. What's going on here? So this is Friley. Okay. One of the binary gas giants. This planet holds five moons. Looking good. Okay, so first of the ones here. Fairly small little guy. This one here. So this one's the closest major moon. Ball made of copper. Most of it's unoxidized due to a thin atmosphere. It's still oxidizing. See a bit of green patches on it. Then we have this one over here. Ike, uh, Ike, uh, a small copy of Titan, um, a mephonic moon. Uh, this moon holds lakes of liquid methane and a decently thick atmosphere. There it is, looking good. Alani. Also icy but more cold. A really big rocky and frozen water ball with rem remnants of little water oceans. Then we have this object over here. Reesh. The binary pair with bigger rings, it holds two moons. Oh, you can see one of the moons has cleared the rings out, that's pretty cool. Got Stelex here. This one over here, 
Tortonurus. Rocky, just Rocky, maybe Icy, but mostly Rocky. There you go. Lovely. Got one more further object out as well here. Cell. Maybe an Ashur Moon, but it's important. It holds strange, hot, glowing blue rocks that are studied. There you go. That are studied. Nice. So next up, we're heading to... Oh, hang on, do we miss? Hang on, I think I went too fast. Ah! I went too fast. I cl I didn't scroll down. I thought it was the next button. Ah! It's going again. Whoops, a daisy. That's my mistake. Wait for it to load up. So far, I'm liking it. Right, so... There we go. That's what we need. So we're heading to Desola now, which is... Where are we? Labels. There it is. That's what we want. A lone rocky planet with a thin atmosphere that holds no moons. There, it's got little patches of liquid on it. And we have Ara, which is in here. We have a binary gas giant system. Whoa, what's going on here? So there it is. A big ice giant. The main of the trinary planet system, and the only, it holds three moons. So then we have this one here. Just an ice world. And then we've got Robbie Toss over here. Also icy and boring, okay. Then we got Fraim over here. Frozen world with nitrogen lakes and geysers, at least more interesting than the rest. Good stuff. Barry center in the middle, center of gravity. And then we've got another object over here. So we've got Cassios. By far the smallest gas planet and the second planet in the trinary. It holds two moons. Okie dokie. Right. This one here. And then this one here. Other icy moon, thin atmosphere. Okay. And then the third planet in this system is this object here. It has a world that was once ejected from its original orbit and now captured by uh, Ara and Cassios. Nowadays it's icy. It contains bright rings. There it is. Nice. Cool. Right, so that's everything from that. Now we move on. So we've got uh, Stara Ferris over here. Brown Dwarf. Oh, yeah. Not very far from Kantara, that's typically not recognised as a binary. Due to not being massive enough, it holds two moons or planets. So, this one here. So scorched by tidal heating, this one. And then the second is this one. Cryos. A very massive moon considered to be a rocky planet previously due to its high mass compared to a regular moon. Legends say it was Hattable, but got pushed out from its orbit and froze due to condemnation. Okay, nice. There was, there was text on that when we first went in. That's very strange. I did see those. Is there something further out? There is. Very center with this. See if there's any description for it. There definitely was something when we first uh, went through the system. So let's try and go in again. Let's see uh, see what it was. Because there was a third page. I remember it saying, oh, thank you for checking out. I briefly saw it. Oh. Let me restart the game. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, we're back. We're back. We're back. Okay. That was weird. So the second star. An orange dwarf only holds two mighty planets. Two but mighty planets. First of the planets here. Warm Hattable, but sadly only has plant life. It's thought that it's the most intelligent life form doomed itself to extinction. Oh dear. And then over here. Oh, that's a lot of big green system, isn't it? Coronus. The second biggest gas giant out of all the system. It's even bigger than the brown dwarf. Its mighty ring system is the biggest one of all. It holds one moon. And that is here. Shavalus. The biggest moon out of all the system. He holds a ring and shiny gases. Oh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed as this took me three days. Very nice. System by Alpha Null. That's, that also goes by that name. Lovely. And there we go. Thank you, uh, Al 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 Alpha Null. Alpha Null, I should say. So, there we go. Nice system. Quite enjoyed it. Short on the shorter end, but still pretty sweet. Nice ring systems in there. Some interesting planet designs. Nice. I liked it. There's a real mix of ring colours as well. Look at that. So there we go. What do you guys think of that system? Pretty good stuff. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, let's see if we can go for 100 likes on this video, guys. And yeah, subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 50,000 subscribers if you haven't already. But with that all said and done, everybody. Make sure you have a great day out there. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.